we are producing the largest interactive projection surface in the world. This is using Notch, who's a real-time renderer, Disguise GX2, and as well as an iPad. This allows us to then be able to take our finger, put it onto the iPad, and move Notch content around the dome in real time, simple as drawing on a whiteboard. Well, Amna came up with the idea that she wanted to create an app where you can touch a wassail and just with one finger create a show. And then we ended up deciding to go with Build because they were there from the start and they were the best company that knows our wassail and knows the ins and outs. Remembering what we did in the past, we created the workflows for this 27,000 by 6,000 pixel canvas. That itself was a huge, huge challenge. We're now being asked to turn this into a real-time graphic solution. We've integrated a full surround sound audio tracks to go with it. So wherever you place your finger, there'll be a marker in the dome to then go round in circles. Wherever you place your finger, audio will come from that perspective as well. The way we split up this project was in different phases. The first phase is all about feasibility study. It's all about technically understanding the limitations, the possibilities, if you like. The second part was taking all that knowledge we gained from the previous months and turn that technical knowledge into a creative output. You know, we know that these particles can perform well. We know that these cloner systems do perform well. So now let's make something beautiful and creative out of it. The third part is, is building the iPad application. That's where we sort of connect the real-time visuals with an interface which a user can work with, can interact with. The fourth part is the addition of audio design because with audio we're really connecting the emotions here. The, the visuals are traveling and the audio is traveling with it and it just creates this extraordinary, really immersive environment. The technical challenges for the Alwazel interactive installation were quite vast. Firstly, just real-time content on the world's largest projection surface was an issue. We had to divide our canvas into uh, many different nodes to, to render to the full projection surface. We rendered 6K in each node and we had 27K across the entire canvas. The technical challenges were simply trying to render that resolution in real time. It's something that's never been done before at that size or scale and the way we had to do it was quite a lot of hard work and working with Disguise to create a workflow that allowed us to shrink down what we were rendering and then scale up again with all the different machines in the system to be able to then project it. It was the uh, interactivity that was the focus. This is where it was really using Notch to kind of its full potential as it could really give you a kind of visceral feeling of what it is like to touch the dome. When the first time I placed my finger onto the app, I was like a kid in a candy store. Being able to control it instantly on real time, I think we just jumped 50 years ahead. It's that first magical moment where you take your finger and you put it on the iPad and then you move it. And then immediately you see something happening. There's almost no latency and you actually feel like you are controlling the dome, like physically, like touching the dome. You as an individual feeling so minuscule against this huge structure, uh, but having such huge power over it and feeling the effect of that power is pretty incredible, really. It's probably one of the most pleasurable experiences I've had working with a company because they made you feel like you were their only client. I am more proud than ever, more proud than anything happened at Expo. I'm proud of this interactive becoming the pillar of El Wasl Plaza.